According to the World Wildlife Fund, a conservation group, South Africa is one of the four main countries in Africa where you can still find rhinoceroses. All but one species of these animals are endangered. Thousands of them have been poached, illegally hunted because their horns are used in traditional Asian medicine. Even the sanctuaries that are designed to protect and preserve rhinos are under threat. But they have a new weapon in the fight against poaching, and believe it or not, it's a type of meerkat. I first saw a rhino when I was probably six, seven years old in the Kruger National Park, and then I knew I wanted to protect rhinos. To be leading a project that protects so many rhinos, and he's so successful in doing that, no, it's an absolute privilege, I can't ask for more. We are building a smart park based on technology that enables our rangers to be able to secure the area without many of us who might be tourists even realizing what is happening. The postcode meerkat was a world first. If it is a specific time, there are people in the park who have not used the gate, our system will be able to pick those up. It's difficult to find a person out there in two million hectares. It's like finding a needle in a stack of needles and then getting to him and catching him. And people think, well, that's easy. It's not easy. What the Meerkat has effectively done since its, its, its first deployment into these parts of Kruger has, has decreased poaching by up to 95%. Every day that meerkat is working, we are saving rhinos. Technology makes things possible, but people makes things happen. It can't replace people, but it can make it much easier for the people to do their job. It's also exciting to start using technology in a useful way, because often we feel that we do technology for the sake of technology, but now we're actually doing technology for the sake of saving a, a species. You need to be able to sense, then you need to make sense of what you're sensing, and the third thing is you need to be able to respond to that. These systems all need to talk to each other. The boundary detection system alerts the meerkat. The meerkat alerts the rangers and alerts the helicopter, the reaction crew. It's the aircraft able to transfer the acquisition of the poachers over to the aircraft. People come from all over the world to come and see the wildlife in Africa. If we are not able to conserve that, that means those people will not come here. A keystone species such as the rhino will be there for my young ones to appreciate as well. Maybe even the next generations that follows them. We enter a new era of conservation where various forms of technology enable us to secure bigger areas and orientate better to what we need to do.